I have my co-author with me, Vandana. So the topic which we, we are going to present here is the discourse pragmatic functions of Bhojpuri adverbials. So before going to start, I would just uh, take a glimpse of Bhojpuri language. This Bhojpuri is the westernmost speech of the Eastern or Northern group of the Aryan language of India. And I would also like to mention, we would like to mention about data. So the, uh, the data which we have used in this uh, paper is specifically te taken from Varansi region which is a western dialect of Bhojpuri. Now the adverbials. What adverbials are? So these adverbials are, it's is kind of function like if we take the word adverb, so it's a word class and adverbials are like function of that adverb word class. So in adverbials includes adverb phrase, adverb clause and with the word or the, the phrase or the uh, sentences which functions as adverb. This all includes adverbials. So these adverbials are, it's really very really complex and interesting grammatical categories because of their distributional properties and their multifunctional tools. This act as a connectives between sentences, paragraphs to make the sentence more meaningful and sometimes it act as a, like it functions as discourse marker also. Now these are some related works which we have, uh, we had referred in our study. So this uh, Forbes work in 2003, Eismer works in 2009. So this Eismer, he, he explain, he gives the information about sure and surely. And this Hessler work, he provides a detailed information about uh, then, then. Uh, and he also differentiate between a discourse marker then and the model particle then. So uh, after like uh, we have referred this study to make our our uh, paper to make our uh, uh, paper uh, to to give the, uh, to give some other information to take now pragmatic functions of Bhojpuri adverbs. So this uh, particular paper this discusses and analyzes different pragmatic functions and these functions are like temporal, comparing and contrast, alternative concessions, adding information, ordering points, concluding and summarizing, reformulating, changing the subject, etc. And uh, now this uh, so there are some examples which we have taken here these examples are like these are adverbials and these are classified as as adverbial as adverbial it means sentence adverbial so these are some examples like halaki hence though baharhal khair well of abhain now baad me after that baki baluk lekin like but aur akhir me at last so these examples are, this helps to represent pragmatic functions and make the text more effective, meaningful and powerful. Uh, we would like, uh, like uh, we will discuss these examples in text uh, in, the, in the following slides. Uh, now the next, uh, next part is, like we have categorized sentence adverbs here. And on the basis of Duhast classification, Duhast had classified in 1991, he has classified uh, English sentence adverbs into eight types. So we have investigated these, we have investigated these eight types in, in our Bhojpuri also. So because, but, uh, because Bhojpuri, Adverbials are like their in their nature is very composed. Their nature is uh, like because of their composite nature of sentence, it is impossible to make a final list of sentence adverbials. So these are some eight types of adverbials which we have investigated for Bhojpuri also. 
so these are eight these are categorization temporal comparing and contrast adding information concluding focusing clarifying changing subject cause and effect so first categorization is temporal temporal is like it it linking to the sentences with specific temporal information for example we will say okre baad after that now the second is second categorization is comparing and contrast comparing and contrast so this shows alternations alternatives and concessions between sentences and makes the coherence in discourse for example like we have balu baki lekin in bhojpuri for but and ehi tarah in this way this will be more clear these, these examples will be more clear in in when we are talking in in a text so i uh, we will we'll discuss in let we we will we'll discuss in uh, paragraph also here i am just giving uh, a glimpse of this categorization now the next category is adding information so adding information means this this release the question with the uh, within paragraph like it is to it is it's used to use uh, it is used to give extra information about uh, any fact about any conversation for example like baat e baat matter is that sach to ye ho baaki the truth is that also now the next category is concluding concluding like this helps to connect the sentences through some specific general generalizations and summarization for example akhir mein at last takul mila ke so finally these are some most frequent sentence adverbs in bhojpuri which which shows concluding uh concluding adverbs in in a in a discourse in a uh, in that particular text now the next category is focusing focusing is like when uh, there are some conversation is going on and speaker uh, speaker wants to focus on some particular uh, topic some particular fact then he use uh, these these connectives these uh, word to focus on the their particular remarks for example sach kahita if i say truth saral sabdan mein if i say in simple words like this he connect the sentences in paragraph then uh, now the next category is clarifying clarifying it seems like that uh, it seems that focusing and clarifying are the same but clarifying is used to to reformulate the sentences reformulate the conversation it is also used to clarify the statements the speaker uh, the speaker whatever the speaker said he wants to clarify his statement he wants to reformulate his sentence then he uh, use this to to convey his meaning is a her meaning for example we say asal mein indeed saaf taur pe clearly now the next category changing subject changing subject is like some conversation is going on and we would like to give focus on some some other topics which is related to that uh, present topic but it's not directly related so we just say um uh, khair well chhod da like anyway and we start and, and, and we proceed our conversation now the next category is cause and effect this cause and effect it's like it connects the conversations with some previous fact and shows the effect of the following conversation for example if if we we'll say
बात ये बाकी मीता के शादी चार पांच साल से ना हो पावत रहे और वो लोग बहुत परेशान रहे सो हियर दिस बात ये बाकी दिस दिस गिव्स द दिस गिव्स अ रीजन टू से to the following sentence this gives a reason that there were there were some arguments were going on uh, to take to about meeta's marriage so uh, now the speaker wants to clarify the speaker wants to give uh, some extra information and he wants to say uh, that it is clear by the fact that baat e baaki to make it more justifiable it is to make it more justifiable so here this satisfies this baat e baaki the satisfies two categories clarifying also and cause and effect also so in this way these were eight categories of sentence adverbs we have we have two more minutes we have two more minutes neha ji okay 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 so uh, i mean uh, your slides are not moving actually slides are not moving Yeah, now it is moving. Yeah, no, now yeah. it is moving. Earlier it was not moving. It was on the yeah. same slide. Yeah, I was on yeah. that slide only. That is why. Okay, okay. Yeah. Now, uh, now these are some few examples which uh, I am going to read here. So uh, this particular example here, uh, you can say in in dark this halaki and this uh, this halaki. and this behral and this abhay these three highlighted parts are these are the examples and in in this particular text and it shows some functions like saral shabd mein kalwa kahlas ki ab dhyan abhaun ke bijli mili halaki so this halaki here it shows comparing and contrast halaki is sawal uchlal ki kahan se mili aur sarkar badal banle badalne ke ऐसे हाई रहल कि इस सवलवा के लोग हवा में उड़ा देलन केहू बतईबे नहीं केले कि बिजली कहां से मिली बिजली आई कहां से बहरहाल सो दिस बहरहाल हियर इट शोस चेंज इन द सब्जेक्ट हाल बहरहाल नौ की सरकार बनले के बाजा अभी तक बंद भी ना भेल रहल कि बत्ती गुल होई गेल सो दिस अभी इट शोस टेंपोरल इंफॉर्मेशन अस तमाशा शुरू भेल कि दिया ले से बदे मट्टी का तेलो मिलन मुहाल हो गए सो हियर वी हैव थ्री थ्री एलिमेंट्स हियर हालाकी एंड बहरहाल एंड अभय सो दिस थ्री दीज आर अवर दीज आर मेन कैटेगरीज दीज आर द कैटेगरीज वेयर विच शोज डिफरेंट फंक्शंस लाइक हालाकी दिस शोज कंपेयरिंग एंड कंट्रास्ट बिटवीन द सेंटेंसेस बिटवीन प्रीवियस एंड फॉलोइंग सेंटेंसेस Now this behral when is used to change the subject. Okay, whatever is going on, like uh, they are talking about from where the power supply will come. But uh, now they are trying to change the subject. Uh, they are trying to change the fact that okay, uh, let it be. Now the problem is that uh, this this power supply from where it it uh, they can resume. And now the third is temporal. This abhi. this gives temporal information which is helpful to make a coherence in a discourse now the next example i will just will just uh, read uh, in hari so is sanjoge rahe ki o dina vidya kacheri ke raste kahi jaat rahi na aur achanak ruk gaye lin aur lag lagli soche so here this uh, here this uh, is sanjoge rahe ki fortunately so here this particular word the class uh, this is this linking to the previous sentence and categorized as changing subject so semantically the these are directly related to the following text but as discourse coherence it relates to the previous and following sentences now one more example i would uh, we would like to give here aur aakhir mein sab chetavni so aur aakhir mein sab chetavni inke dhyan se suni इनका हल्का में कतई ही ना लें सो एट लास्ट लिसन टू ऑल द इंस्ट्रक्शंस केयरफुली डोंट टेक इट लाइक मी सो दिस पर्टिकुलर फ्रेज आवर आखिर में इट इज यूज्ड एज डिस्कोर्स कोहरेंस इन दिस पैराग्राफ इन दिस लाइन सो अकॉर्डिंग टू द एनालिसिस इट सेटिस्फाइज थ्री फंक्शंस 
the first function is adding information and this is because of this particular word our but so this our uh, this our gives the information that we uh, they are adding some more information they are adding some relevant information in in this particular uh, conversation now the second function is focusing because whatever had said before now they are going to focus on the following statement so uh, now the third uh, function is concluding so whatever uh, uh, the speaker had said before now he wants to conclude his information he wants to conclude his statement with the help of our akhir mein so now finally so either the speaker or any listener will conclude the arguments with this next statement so in this way this connects the sentences in the discourse so this particular example satisfies three functions here so now we conclude with this so uh, on the basis of duhart study we have investigated in bhojpuri this eight type of uh, eight categories of sentence adverbs and these adverbs present an interesting case where one adverb shows multiple pragmatic functions thank you that's all